Good evening, everyone. My name is Maya Ayubi, and today I'll be talking to you about something we've all been watching very closely, the COVID-19 vaccination rollouts. Some questions I really wanted to answer were, what countries use which vaccine types? What are the top countries vaccinating? And when will I get my vaccine? So let's get started. Here are some imports. We'll talk about these later, but the main ones we'll be working with is Pandas, Plotly, and Facebook Profit. The data that I have here is collected from Kaggle and GitHub and use Pandas read CSV to read in the data. The exploration, it's good. It's a good practice to look through your data before you start working with it. Pandas makes this easy to do. Some cleanup I had to do, for example, is assigning missing ISO codes for countries like Wales and Scotland and Ireland. But let's talk about something that I've had on my mind. mRNA versus non-mRNA vaccinations. So the country data set is a really great data set with different types of vaccines, vaccine information. I was interested in the different deployments of the vaccine, and there are some new types of vaccines never used before called mRNA that are used in parts of the world to vaccinate against COVID now. So we used Plotly's Cora plot to look at what countries are using which types of vaccines. Some interesting geopolitics here is that you notice that the global south is mostly using non-mRNA, whereas the global north is using predominantly mRNA. Of course, there are some global northern countries that are using both. So vaccine types aside, which of these countries are vaccinating the most? Well, Let's, let's see. So here we're gonna use a bar plot to plot the top 10 countries that have the highest number of vaccinations per 100 filtering on populations that are greater than 10 million. And we see that Great Britain is in the lead, but they have less than 30% of people vaccinated at the moment. And the US comes in second place and Chile surprisingly in third, while everyone else such as Turkey, Poland and Romania all the way up to Spain have less than 10% people, of people vaccinated. Well, here are the leaders, so how are they doing over time? And we see that, yeah, these countries overall are doing are vaccinating more and more. And it's really interesting to see how the trend or the rate of vaccination is for all these individual countries. But the one that I'm most interested in is the United States. And there's a lot you can do with this global data, but since I live in America, I want to look at what states are vaccinating the most. So let's see what's going on. Here we use Plotly's Choropleth map again, but this time we're looking at it just on a scope of the United States rather than, the, rather than globally. And it's cool to see that Alaska is vaccinating the most out of any other state. And I wonder if that's probably because it's so cold they don't need to keep their vaccines in freezers. <laughs> Jokes aside, but yeah, smaller, smaller states seem to be doing really well, which is strange because you would think that states with cities where people are highly packed and there's high density, you'd be able to distribute the vaccines to them faster. Well, but what's the overall trend in the nation? So U.S. total vaccinations, we see that clearly there's a number of vaccines, that the number of vaccines, vaccinations are going up steadily, but the curve upwards suggests that it is accelerating. But is it enough to reach our national goal? Well, which goal is that? So on January 25th, 
President Joe Biden pledged 150 million vaccinations, meaning shots in arms, in 100 days. This got me really excited, and I wanted to see how soon I would possibly get vaccinated since I'm not in the early phase. So I found an open source forecasting package called Profit from Facebook. And Profit has two modes of prediction, linear and logistic. Logistic mode is for when you have a known cap in your system. And for us, our known cap is the population of the United States. In this case, around roughly 328 million. So, okay, since profit can give us a prediction, what does profit say about US vaccinations? Well, it looks like by April 30th, we'll have 248 million vaccinations. That's great news. And it looks like Joe Biden's prediction might be a little conservative. And it's according to profit, it looks like we'll be making more than 100 million vaccinations in 100 days. Well, profit's doc says it handles weekly seasonality, missing data, and outliers really well. So I figured I'd try it out. And I'm pretty hopeful with, and I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting. And I feel good knowing that there is hope after all. And if you want to play around with this data or notebook, it's available on my GitHub. And if you have any suggestions on other analyses you'd like me to include in this notebook, I can be reached through email. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to my talk. And I hope to see you all in person very, very soon.